Welcome to week one, lecture five, application of acute training variables. By now, we have understood how acute training variable, FITTVP, can be applied to health specific fitness and sports specific fitness. Now let's Welcome to week one, lecture five, application of acute training variables. Until week, welcome to week one, lecture five, acute training variables, application. Sorry. Welcome to week one, lecture five, application of acute training variables until week 4 shit ek hi bar bar bol raha welcome to week 1 lecture 5 application of acute training variables until lecture 4 we have seen how acute training variables that is fittvp can be used to describe health specific fitness variable and sports specific fitness variable. Now let's go one step ahead to see how FITTVP can be applied in more different ways. Objective of lecture 5 is to recall self sports specific FITTVP to start with as an example. Using that as an example, two different applications of FITTVP can be FITTVP will be explained. The first application of FITTVP is stimulation and the second application of FITTVP is writing exercise prescriptions. Outcome of lecture 5 is you should able to demonstrate how to write outcome of lecture 5. At the end of this lecture you should able to demonstrate to write an exercise prescription for sport specific fitness and health specific fitness. Outcome of lecture 5 is you should able to demonstrate to write an exercise prescription for health specific fitness as well as sports specific fitness. Now let's recall myself health specific sports specific fitness FITT VP which was covered in lecture 4. Here I have described FITT I described my power speed and conditioning session using FIDT VP. Now let's focus on power as a fitness variables and see how a one month of my power program looks like. The first application of FIDT VP is stimulation which can be written in P section of FIDT VP. In week one I gave my program I gave stimulation by increasing the box height. In week 2, I gave progression, I gave stimulation by changing the type of stimulation. In week 1, it was starting strength and in week 2, it is speed strength. So, I gave a stimulation in term of variation. Now, in week 3, I gave stimulation by increasing the velocity while maintaining the same type of stimulation. Here, in the week 2, I was aiming to do the velocity, I was aiming to do the exercise by maintaining the movement velocity for up to 0.75 meter per second. But in week 3, now I will be aiming to do the same exercise drills but with a higher velocity. And lastly, in week 4, I plan to give stimulation by something called as contrast training where I do one drill, one exercise of max strength and then I do one exercise of speed strength. This is how you can use FITT VP to describe the stimulation and at the end when you club it together you would see that you are able to give a progression by giving different type of stimulations. The second application of FITT VP is to write an exercise prescription. 
Exercise prescription can be written in following pattern when you want to describe your workout for a weekly basis. Your, you first write your fitness variable that you want to train. Then you write the frequency you want to train per week. Then you write the type of stimulation. Then you write the volume. And then you write the intensity on how you want to perform the, that exercise. Using week one power drills. So how can you write an exercise prescription for entire week one? Using the same format, the fitness variable I want to train is power, lower body. How many times I am training? Two times a week. What is the type of stimulation I am giving? Starting strength. What is the volume? Three sets of four reps. And what is the intensity I am trying to maintain? Greater than 1.5 meter per second or a box height of 30 centimeters. Now this is how you can write an exercise prescription for a weekly basis using FITT VP. Similarly, you can also write exercise prescription for a single workout session with a bit of change in the format where there is no frequency mentioned now. Rest the format was same. You write the fitness variable, you write the type of training, you write the volume and then you write the intensity. As an example, let's say this is day one, session one of week one. I train power, lower body. I train starting strength, type of uh, power. The volume is three sets of four repetition and the intensity is greater than 1.5 meter per second. This is how you can use FITT VP to describe, not just describe, to write a prescription on a weekly basis as well as on a single workout session basis. Let's use another example. Now the weekly basis, the fitness variable that is changed is speed. Now let's first see how I have programmed my one month speed session. The first application of FIT VP is to write the stimulation in the P section of FITT VP. So in the week one, I have given stimulation by greater sets. Week two, I have given stimulation by increasing the intensity. Week three, I have changed the type of speed. In week one and week two, I was training acceleration. Now I am training max speed. And week four, now I have increased the intensity from 85% of max speed to 95% of max speed. Now, how do you write a prescription for a speed session? You use the similar pattern of uh, format of exercise prescription for a weekly basis. The only difference is the fitness variable from power. Now I'm designing, I'm writing a prescription for a speed session. So I write speed. The frequency I'm doing it per week is two session. What type of speed I'm doing? Acceleration. How do I write the volume? sets into distance. How do you write the intensity? 80% of my max speed. Now, same goes for the per session workout prescription. So I just exclude frequency. Rest would be the same. I write biomotor variable. I write type of stimulation. I write the volume and I write the, I write the intensity. So to summarize, an exercise prescription can be written to every fitness variable by applying acute training variables. Fitness stimulation can be given by progressing any or combination of all acute training variables. So if you want to just think about how do you give more challenging workout routines for yourself, think about having a greater frequency or greater intensity or greater volume or just change the type of stimulation for the respective fitness variables. Thank you. So you will be given an assignment that you have to submit online within the given time period. The format of the assignment can be an MCQ, a case study. Thank you.